broke down. We have to commemorate our last day here by taking the crazy card out for one last hoorah. I did a little practice while we were here. Um, I don't think I'm an expert yet. Um, what you guys didn't see is I actually wrecked over there. I actually wrecked over here. And the second time I actually whacked my uh, a delicate part on this nice cross beam here. So we're, we're gonna try- Yeah, this thing right here. Ouch. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna try to avoid that this time and just take her out for one more rip. I think she's dead. I can't believe I flipped it. I thought these things were unflippable. That was pretty good. I, I must have really been rocking. Do you want to sit on my lap and get the shot? Me. I don't know if this thing's got enough torque. This isn't a diesel. You know what I'm saying? You can try it. No, I don't she, even know. I mean, she's gutless as it is. You didn't get it? I didn't. <laughs> I think that's enough. She wrote. Otherwise, we're, we're not gonna be able to get on the road and we're not gonna be able to get to New York. And I kind of want to get to New York. Not really. I was gonna it say. It sounded good though, right? It did. All right, I am done. <laughs> Can you pull me out of the ditch real quick? What? Pull me out of the ditch real quick. Yeah! There you go. Time to pack! Yeah! You see, stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. And just like that, we're all packed up. We're leaving Port Charlotte. We're going up to the north to New York State. I don't need to personally go up there. It's my girlfriend and her cousin that have to go up north. They have to go back to school, but it's okay. I miss being home too. It's funny, you can be in paradise, but you, but if your family's not with you and your friends aren't with you, paradise isn't that great. It is, just not, like the first few days are nice, but then you reminisce and all the memories that you have and you wish that you were in paradise with your friends and family, as long as you get along with them at least. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a Monolo recording. So we're just checking the fluids. We've gone, how many miles did you say, 100? Stop at the rest area. I don't know where we are. I think oh, maybe Ocala. Maybe Ocala, I've seen a lot of Ocala signs. Maybe a little north of that. My brake fluid looks good. Check the oil level right now. And then we'll start it up and check the tranny fluid. Then we're gonna check some luck. That's looking perfect. Easy access to our torque wrench. He knows better now. Yeah, they loosened up a little bit. Look at that torquing action. Well, we're breaker barring them right now. Yeah, we, we're not really torquing these. We're just using the breaker bar. I think the breaker bar is much safer than a torque wrench at this point. Um, I only have a Harbor Freight special torque wrench. Maybe that's why I got in the trouble I did. That side loosened more than every other side. Why is that? Maybe it's because you live life in the fast lane. And so weird, you do left turns a lot. Here you go. Peace out. We're getting 
some good old diesel. This is our first stop of the day so far. I think we left, we had 1,600 miles on. Let's see what we have on now. 1791. So I'd say we went about 130 miles, 140 miles. We are going to Hilltop. Hilton Head, North Carolina, South Carolina. South Carolina. All right, so we're going to Hilton Head, South Carolina. We came from Port Charlotte, Florida. Getting diesel fuel. I originally went to the other side, this side over here. But as you can see, it says sorry for the inconvenience. Blah 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 blah. That means um, oh, didn't mean to do that. So I just pulled over here and started pumping her up. I think I just like the word diesel. What? Hey, can you go inside and get my receipt, please? It's on pump uh, four. We were originally gonna be on three for 3D machines, but now we're on four. We're not making this shit up. So right now what's happening is for some reason I just did like a tiny little pull like like mom not punched or anything and it just kind of felt powerless and then all of a sudden it just didn't want to go over 70 at all. No problem. Is it hot down there? No. Nope. Do you want me to grab it? My air filter box is really dirty so maybe somehow the air filter is dirty. No, no codes are coming up like any warning lights or anything like that. We have all the gauges look good. And the only thing I'm thinking that it is, is the cap filter. Maybe it's not the right adapter or something, so it's not letting enough fuel come in. I'm not quite too sure. I'm not a diesel mechanic. Yeah, that might be it. Air filter's really dirty. Maybe that's it. Wouldn't that be hell if that was actually it? Fingers crossed. So do you need a new one? Or do you just gotta clean it off? I need an, I really need an air compressor, but we don't have an air compressor, so. And if it's a little, and if we see a little bit of an improvement, then we know that we're kind of on the right track so that we can like pull over and find an actual spot to clean this out. Three machines out. See, I packed all my screwdrivers in my toolbox and then I put that, and then I put a bag around it so if we had any rain that my tools wouldn't get, you know, rusty and crusty. So I have this that a loyal subscriber sent to me. I believe it was Michael D who did it. So thank you, Michael. It's coming in handy. I just hope this is the culprit. All right, let's try it. See what the hell happens. Leave her open. Let's see what happens. You know what? If we go over 70 miles an hour, we'll just stop in and buy a new freaking air filter and be done with it. I I dislike that k and crap. So far, it already feels a little bit more catchy, believe it or not. Ah, yeah, there's a big pothole. Came out of nowhere. So far, so good. Alright, I've got my house brand, MicroCard at 
Okay. And tax, uh, Wix twenty seven ninety nine in tax. Let's go with the Wix. I got my new air filter. I'm ready to reinstall it. These guys are even nice enough to let me use their bathroom and wash my hands after I'm done. So that's very convenient. And then we can get back on the road. Hopefully this will be our last stop. We have plenty of fuel. My stomach is relatively full. Your battery's dying. That's great. And the guys in there were saw my truck and they're like, who's from New York? And I'm like, I am. Yeah, I heard you guys were really good. Here we're here we are in Florida. You guys are really good. I heard you guys sell a good air filter, so I had to stop by and they started laughing. The one guy said he was from Rochester, and the other guy said he has family in Syracuse, so small bunch of New Yorkers. Yeah, small world. New York. Not the real New York City though, just Buffalo. Kind of chilly out here. Please. You know what we're going home to? Nine degrees. Oh, good thing it fell through. <laughs> Got it. She's blinking. That was good. That guy was laughing at me. Which one? The guy who just pulled in. Oh, the one in the red? Yeah. Kind of. Did you get the shot? I think I did. The shot. So now we should have more power. Saddle up, partner. I dislike that city. You guys know why. That's where my wheel fell off. Hopefully we don't lose it here again. The truck is acting a little better after installing the new air filter, so that's good. I just wanted to mention before it gets too dark, I want to mention. I wanted to mention that I think I know the reason why I haven't really been taking care of the Duramax as much as I should have. And that is because I think I've dedicated most of my time working on the BMW, working on that four-wheeler, and working on the rest of my bolster and the rest of my stuff. So that kind of took away from the maintenance on the Duramax. Now I'm going to be sure to look after it more often. I'll make sure to treat her like a nice, high-class quality woman. I hope that'll be enough to prevent any chaos from happening, but you guys know me. I love chaos. Now, now there's a difference between life-threatening chaos and, like, you know, normal, regular, little exciting chaos. Like the wheel falling off, that was like too much chaos. We're still in Jacksonville. We're, we are gonna come to Georgia soon. We are on the I-95. What's really funny is when I bought this truck, I actually came down here to buy it. Like you guys know, it's a 2005 Chevy 2500, 6.6 .6 liter diesel. Um, I actually saw it do it with Dan on this highway. I, I saw his Camaro go by and I'm like, was that Dan? So I call him up and sure enough, it was Dan. He was going down to Jacksonville that day, I remember that. I'm sure he does too. I'm 100% certain that you can remember that because like one of the first things that he mentioned when I came to his house uh, just a few days ago, he's like, I can't believe you saw me on I-95. It's like, yep, just keep your eyes peeled. Like I had him in mind when I saw him. Me thinking of him brought him to me. It's kind of cool. I have that happen a lot. What about you guys? Do you guys have that happen a lot? Like you think about a TV show or something on TV and then all of a sudden it's like on the next day? Craziness. Let me know in the comment section below. I wanna hear your coincidences. But I gotta do more driving. I hope you guys are enjoying my road trip more than I am because for me it's just like watching blacktop. You guys can at least see like the highlights.